and grab a fresh instance of that panel to see if everything's working as expected. So I'm just going to select a few nodes here and change stuff and now you can see that this automatically triggers the uh, changing of the knob here and if I type something that is actually contained in those knobs like SC20 and just change focus away this updates and tells me that there's one node called read4 in my selection so let's go all if I go all nodes I now found two matches because this guy here has SC20 in it as well. So the last thing to do obviously is making this replace button do something slightly more beneficial than just printing its name into the terminal. So let's go back one more time and uh, in our callback we'll extend the if statement by an elif case. So we'll go else if knob equals self dot replace then do something. So the subsequent code is only going to happen if the replace button is pushed. The replace button obviously needs to cycle through all the knobs that we found according to our search string and then perform string replacement on them. Because I don't want to run the search result function twice, I'm actually going to modify this line slightly here and save the result that is returned by the search result function, which is the matching knobs we need to operate on. So before we go any further, let me just quickly add an attribute up here. So I'll go self.matches for example and that's going to hold all of our knob matches but initially it'll just be none. And then when we perform the search in our callbacks we simply assign the result of the search result method to that attribute. So we go self.matches equals self.search result etc. So the moment this label updates, the respective result is always stored in our matches variable attached to our panel. So when the time comes that the user actually hits replace, we can now simply loop through the result of self.matches. Let's do that. 4k in self.matches. So this will cycle through all the uh, matching knobs. And in here, we finally need to do the string replacement. So I'm going to create a variable called new str for new string and I'll use the regular expression module for that so I'll go re for regular expression dot sub for substitution and because this module isn't included by default we need to import that at the top of our code again like so right so now we've got access to the re module and the sub method of the regular expression module works in a way that the first argument is the string that you want to substitute the second argument is the string that you want to substitute it with and the third argument is the string that you actually want to modify so let's go ahead and give it the first argument which in our case will be self dot search str dot value that's what we want to search for and we want to replace it with self dot replace str dot value and the string we actually want to modify with all this is the current knobs value not the current knob but the knob found by our search result function so that's doing the string modification and it stores the new string in the variable new str it doesn't actually modify the knobs value just yet we have to do that right after that. So we go k.setValue new str, like so. And now we run the whole thing again and it spits out an error because I forgot to close my regular expression call here. So let's try that again. That's better. And bring up a new instance of the panel. And now let's once again select stuff and type sc20 in here. We already know that that's working, so that's finding two nodes in all. Let's say we just want to operate on selected nodes, so that's only one match. And now we want to replace the whole thing with, let's say, SC21. There you go.